Alright, time for a fiddlesticks game. I'm gonna be going against a volley here, which should be fine, honestly. Uh, he doesn't tend to invade early as a champion. He could go for like an early gank, but Volley is more so a full clear champion. So I'm assuming that's what he's going to do. So yeah, that's what we're going to just prepare for essentially. What we're doing on Fiddlesticks here, and I'm going to do this a little bit the quote unquote easier way. So let me just check that I'm actually recording. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm gonna do this a little bit of the easier way, because what I mean by easier, right? For Fiddlesticks' initial clear, you can basically double camp Gro uh, Wolves and, and Blue buff, and then drag the blue into your Gromp, which would require some perfect timing, or yeah, perfect timing basically on your W, because you can just walk up W here, and then drag them this way, W here, basically, and then kite it up that way. Uh, however, uh, I'm, a lot of people probably will struggle with that at least, and uh, the easier way is just to do your Wolves as is. And that's what I'm going to do for now. It will be a slower clear. Just know that you can improve your clear speed by a good amount by just applying that like that trick and just practicing in a practice tool. You don't need a leash for the trick to be working. So all you really have to do is just do the trick. And I see I got invaded by Volibear. That is quite unfortunate. And he reset my camp as well. Okay. That is not ideal, but I mean, it is what it is. He started on my blue buff this time around. I actually didn't expect that, but I, I respect him for doing it, I suppose. Gonna lose me out on blue buff, which definitely slows me down, but it is what it is. Like that, that would have been uh, noticed, by the way, if I would have done the double camp situation. But even then, I mean, it would have just been whatever. I'm assuming he kind of just sprints towards his own bot side again, I guess. But I, I suppose we'll see. That was the invade I was not expecting to face, but okay. Fair enough. We just double camp this one still. This one's very, very easy to double camp. I have no idea why that small one reset. But okay. No problem. This has slowed me down a bit, but it's okay. Also, one more thing, 70% um, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you're one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed. And yeah. Good thing here is that my bot lane got a double kill, we take those. I will not be complaining. One thing to note about your smite as well, by the way, or your W smite interaction, is your W does more damage based on missing HP. So if you smite first, your W will basically do more damage to that camp. Which will be beneficial to you, of course, if you uh, use that. I'm assuming there's going to be a volley there. My bolt line's going to back here. They have to. I don't know why she is doing this right now. It is what it is. I will buy a Boots and Dark Seal. You need to get Boots on your first back because you were running Predator. I am. You can also run First Strike or Electrocute. Those are both viable runes as well, honestly. But Predator is just by far and away the easiest rune to play with. So that is the one I'll be using. I'm just going to run the Top Scuttle check if it's up. If it's not, it's okay. Uh, my early clear got definitely slowed down even more because he started on my blue buff. But I mean, it is what it is. I can play around it even though he did get a lead out of it. It happens. Use my either get rid of the shield. I'm not too worried about not having Q, to be honest, but it does mean I can't really go for a gank at the moment. I'm gonna do wolves first, and then I could look for maybe a predator gank on top lane. Or mid lane, even, but I just need to get my level 4 right now. I still picked the extra point in W for the clear speed. I didn't really think the interaction was gonna be anywhere near. Oh god. I can. I'm gonna run top here. All I have to do is Predator. I don't think this guy has anything else. Just gonna run up. Fear him. Silence him. And he's dead. Beautiful. It's gonna push out the wave now as well. The wave is gonna push towards him anyway, so I'm just gonna help him push out here. This also kind of makes up for the experience that I kind of lost due to Volley Bear. So pushing here is very beneficial for me as well. Just sharing some XP. I don't even care that much about getting the gold or anything. Wow, that one walked out of my range. I think you should be careful here. There's a very high likelihood that he could be topside right now. 
that's good that's all i really needed just that early gank like a nice a nice gank there just predator coming in this is why predator is the rune i would recommend just because makes everything so easy you can literally just run into a lane with predator every time and you should be fine jack's backed a little late which is gonna cost him now he went for the turret plate the wave is gonna push back to him anyway but i don't know if he's gonna have enough time before it collapses the turret at this rate depending on how fast this guy pushes essentially Okay. We see a bot scuttle is about to spawn, but more importantly, we are having Predator up soon. So what I want to do here is actually to go try to go for a bot gank. They just need to let it push. Drain and it should be okay. There we go. Nice. Going for the AD carry is by far in between like the best choice because I mean you obviously want to get rid of the AD carry. The support being alive is less uh, less of a factor, less relevant because the AD carry this way is going to miss out on farm. Whilst the support, I mean, I mean it's going to get the farm, but yeah, Draven just falling more behind is more worth it. So I tend to focus the AD carries unless it's like a thresh because at that point they can just lantern them out and that would be a problem, of course. So that's something you have to be a little bit careful for. You're serious. That, honestly, that is disgusting. Mate, really? That is the absolute worst of the worst disgusting play I've ever seen. That scuttle is worth so much to me as well, and she just takes it. That, that literally pisses me off. I'm not even joking. That actually pisses me off. I would have been literally level 6 with that scuttle. That's the difference. Wow. Actually unbelievable. I don't know what to say, man. I'm just actually... I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. That's just absolutely disgusting. If it was the AD carry, it would have been one thing. I would have still been pissed off. But it's the support that actually took it from me. Wow. I don't know. I do not believe this. And I'm gonna just back here, get my Sorks. Rushing into the magic penetration. Magic penetration is an absolute gold tier stat on fiddlesticks. Because you have a high amount of base damage. So the more magic penetration you have, the better it is. I know Volley took my blue buff. But that has to be guaranteed. Basically, so I mean... I did not want to smite that scuttle, but maybe I should have. Wow. Okay then. I could gank mid here, potentially. Pike's gonna get his ult back soon. Good kill. I actually caught him off guard with that one, that's big. No, but... I miss another 100 gold off that. Sad life. I'm just gonna take his uh, Raptors real quick. He wasn't level 6. I don't know how he managed that, but he wasn't level 6, so we take those. Rain here. I missed that completely. I wasted my Predator. The wave was going to come in as well, so there's not really much he could have done, I suppose. But, you know. Got the kill on Volley, so we're happy about those. Wooly is behind me. I'm not gonna go for this. Oh. I know Pike's coming, so I can stall a little bit. That's fine. Fear him. Nice, I got the assist. I needed to hit that E, and I was hoping to hit it before he actually connected the thing, which is big. I did manage that, so that's good. I think I'm actually gonna use the herald here i'm gonna use the herald here 
We can force the Draven off the turret if the Pike comes in from behind. But we should be able to get the entire bull turret off this, I think. Mm, okay, not the entire one. Pike left, so that uh, that made, made sure that we lost pressure. If the Pike would have pushed with us in that situation, we could have gotten the entire bull turret there, I think. But that's okay. Zeri should be able to get out anyway. Uh, it's a little bit too much damage that I took on that one. I got hit by way more Valkyl's damage than I should have. That's a little aggressive on my on my part, I will admit. But I thought that was going to be a little bit cleaner than it was. I'm actually going to buy the Magis here, I think, instead of going for the... Um, let me just refrain from that as well. Let me do this. Yeah, no, look at this perfect gold. We'll just take this. It's fine. I thought I was going to be able to get on the Draven a little bit better, but I was a little tiny bit out of reach on that one. He stepped kind of back. I was expecting him to step forward in that situation, which they didn't. But it's still a kill. Like, I don't mind trading like that. It's okay. Because right there as well, you have to remember that Draven killed me, so he's worth gold reset as well now, which is actually kind of good. And this is going to reset because I'm one step wrong. Okay, better. Hey, hello. What's about to say. Next Q second. I'm gonna run bolt here as well. Go for the bolt scuttle, because I do want that. There's a good chance my top side could be gone here. Park behind. Silence that. If Senna does this one more time now, I'm gonna be absolutely pissed off. Should be looking good. My ult's up in 16. Big. Got the flank with the ult on behind them. They were going to get... Put, uh, pressured into their turret anyway, so they kind of will have to step back into that direction because my bolt line has a slight like pressure advantage essentially, so I can just ult over the wall there from the behind situation. That's why I walk this way instead of walking the other direction because you can get a really good flank this way. My bolt line is absolutely set, don't have to worry about that anymore at any point. Okay. Might have to help my mid lane and my top lane a little bit now. Botlane should be good. I did take one kind of sloppy death here with that other gank that was maybe a little bit too aggressive. But, I mean, that other gank right now should have just been fine. I think they might just die here. Yeah, I lost my entire top side. Need to wait for Jax. That's a little, little long, little late. Nothing I can really do on mid. However, this one, though. Predator here. Good mute. Silence him as well. Good. I didn't initially go for the Vigar because I can't 1v1 him, right? My ult's on cooldown. Defending mid, like, just aimlessly standing there isn't going to do anything either, so it's just going to be a situation where I can't really do anything. I was going to look for the Darius instead, but the Jax was a tiny bit slower than I thought he was going to be. I see. I am presuming that Pike calls that my fault as well. Let's see if this is warded or not. There he goes. I'm not going to start my uh, start my drain at any point until he uses his E on me, which he did. So at that point, I can kind of just follow that up and then I can get my W off correctly. 
because if he, um, I think it's his E, it could be his W, but the, the, the dash cancel, like the sideway knock thing, you know, that one. That's the one I want to avoid. Wow, they actually lost the blue to him. So that's why I waited with like W usage. I'm going to use my W only after he does that and like knock to the side, which as Draven, I suppose he should have held. But if he doesn't like use it, I guess, then I just burst him with my ult anyway, because my ult has high base damage as it is. So he most likely would have died even with me without me using drain. Should be fine. We're looking very good right now. My early game obviously wasn't that great. It was a bit of a slower start due to the uh, volley invade. But yeah, we're, we're looking good, I think. Team is kind of trolling at this point. A little over aggressive. Not really anything they should be doing here. Really, just don't do it, Pike. We're not winning those. I don't have ult right now. Also, have too much gold. I was really hoping for him to hit that. He lost the fight instantly. Might be an interesting one this game. Hey then. Is that the pike? Uh, it's not the pike. Oh, that's a Jax, I see. Ah, right. My jungle camps are up next, of course. Let me get the uh, Sonias here. Got a bunch of active items now. game is gonna get interesting my team kind of just hard into just now which kind of puts us in a pretty bad state i will say i think she should be able to kill this guy hello grump uh sorry grump i mean raptors what the hell is that sometimes i don't understand these things man Gone. I feel like Volley has done absolutely nothing this game, but my laners were just worse. I think that's honestly the case. Yeah, two assists. He done. He's not done much. They got that dragon. I mean, he took my blue, and I feel that's that's the extent of everything he did. But yeah, I don't know. It feels kind of strange, man. I'm gonna lose my blue here again. Sorry, you're not seriously doing that? Wow. Well. Alright then. I'll smite that, whatever. Mm. Four minutes on dragon. I don't know how this game is gonna turn out. I think this is gonna go sour very, very quickly. Because my lead on bot lane is essentially gone after the 80 carry kind of into twice. That's a clean kill. We like to see those. Oh, I should have Zonias that. Oh my god. I got Vigar ulted and I just didn't react to it properly. I wonder if I was stunned. I could have been stunned. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe my Zonias was just on the wrong button. I instinctively clicked it. But it didn't go. I think that could have been the case as well. I died to volley. Eh. The, the main thing, I lost my Magi stacks there. I usually have Sonyas on this button, so I had it on the wrong button. So I could have instinctively clicked it, but then it didn't go off because I was on the wrong button. It is what it is. At least it's on the correct button now, I suppose. Fire Girl's gonna be a problem regardless, though. I'm gonna have to definitely Zonias that every time. He's gonna use that on me, I'm fairly certain, every time. Just a couple of good ults and we should be okay, though. The death there doesn't necessarily cost me anything, apart from just some Jai stacks and, of course, my shutdown. But yeah, it's okay. It doesn't cost me an objective, which is the more important one. Almost level 13.
That guy's dead, right? It's not dead. Okay, fine. I could have ulted him potentially, but they're all walking back way too far. Nice kill. Good assist there as well. My Zeri and my Senna are playing extremely passively right now. Nobody in there, because I didn't hear the sound animation for it. I don't necessarily care about Baron. I'd pr prefer to play for this dragon here. We should be getting vision on dragon, not moving towards Baron here. I'm going to have to run up here, because this fight's going to go down. Okay, good kill. We take those. I think it seems they kill Volley here as well. Uh, maybe? That's actually not bad for my team. We can Baron off that. If th They didn't kill Volley, but we can still Baron off that. We should be able to Baron off this. I don't know why Pike just fully recalled. I don't know if we can actually finish this. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is what it is. We have to recall. I'm gonna zone us that, honestly. I do not wanna get killed. It will be worth zoniasing every single day. Spare him real quick. Rocket belt. We go for dragon next, I think. We could still Baron here, potentially, actually. Oh, Predator here to catch up. Use that. Solid. Still Baron, I think. I'm just gonna drain on this real quick. It's good. I got a good ult in instantly killing Vigar there. Yo, where is my team going, team? Are you drunk? They're entirely dead. Oh, God. Oh, we're gonna be so slow on this Baron now still. I should be the one tanking this, I think. I'm actually just straight up annoyed by the fact that it took him 10 years to come to this Baron. I think we might not actually have the damage to finish it now. Let's hope that's not the case. Oh god, oh god, I, d I hate this. I got it. They're actually stupid for what they did. I killed him at least. Got him on the edge. An ally has been slain. Yo, where is Pike even going right now? Alright, great. The Baron would have been good, but the problem is that they literally just, re like, actually just AFK'd on the minion wave. Yeah, great. Absolutely wonderful. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna die off this. I don't know what, what they just argued there. That Baron was great, but they just absolutely did nothing with it. Now we lost Dragon for that reason. Pike should have just ran to the Draven because he would have easily killed the Draven instead of running Tulp and he would have secured the Dragon off that, basically. I probably should have just left him to die here, most likely, against the Darius. I don't think I should have interacted with Darius at any point there. So that one's on me. They don't really have magic resist. I can just go for Death Cap next. Yeah, I mean, we still got the Baron, but we definitely lost the uh, lost the Dragon off that, which I don't like at all. But, I mean, I, I guess we got Baron at least. That's something to take away from it. If my team would have just instantly ran towards Baron, instead of, the, like, both Zeri and Jax AFK mid for approximately 10 seconds, I would say, 
before they actually move towards the to, towards the Baron. Like those, that 10 second difference would have just been Baron and we're out for clean, right? It would have just, we had to do an instant Baron. Their entire team was dead. There was absolutely no reason not to do it, but they just decided that they didn't want to participate, which sucks. I'm going to farm out my level 16 here at this point, if I can. I got death cap in base as well. I'm losing too many camps to Zeri right now, so she's actually not going to allow me to hit 16 right now. I think I'll just go mid here, since the Jax is putting him from behind pressure on Draven. He's dead. Okay, fine. Oh my god. I um, need two camps, actually. I think I need Krogs, but I don't think I can actually take those without my team dying. Because this guy is already going up way too far. Let me just sweep that. I'm gonna get into a position here and sweep this. This is warded completely. Okay, fine. Zoni has that for safety because I know I know I don't disrespect Vigar damage. I just don't do that. I was hoping the Vigar was walking up as well, but he wasn't, so that's a tiny bit unfortunate. I'm gonna fear that guy so he can't move. Beautiful. The predator here. Good flash from Vigar there. Good kill from Senna there. We take those. Ult's gonna be up in 35. I can't really do that much in a siege, so I'm quickly just gonna stand off to the side here. Get a Draven. Good. Got a good catch with my ult. I was hoping it not to just be the Velkos, but also a potential as Vigar, but it wasn't the case, unfortunately. However, the fight turned out pretty well. Mm. Fair enough. I think we just walk away now. I have my ult, like... If they would chase, I could potentially do something. Ocean Dragon in a minute. I'm gonna recall, I'm not gonna do this camp. Doing this camp would be very risky, I think. It takes me just, like, just too long. Based on Dragon's respawn timer. So we get both of these things. With Futures Market, we can purchase that as well, which is great. Rampage. Nice. Spike's picking up kills. Like, he started picking up kills at some point, and it just started going pretty good for him. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Silence him, good. Pretty good cleanup ultimate in that one. I'll just pop Predator here. I'll just flash this wall real quick. Damn, he was just too fast. Just barely too fast, unfortunately. Zeri will get the dragon here regardless. I wasn't going to be worried about the dragon. My flash there may have been a little bit of a waste. I thought I was going to be able to catch up to him a little faster, but he was able to outrun me quite effectively there. I have ult ready. We might, we might be able to try to flank them. Look for a good position to kill this guy, basically. That's fine. Uh, it's two for one. Maybe I should have Zoniast faster there. I think that was a mistake on my end. Should be a free kill into the Darius kill. 
Yeah, I think I didn't press Zonius in time. I wanted to, I, I kind of greeted with the amount of abilities I wanted to get off. Um, so it didn't really pay out for me that well there. If I Zonias a little faster, I think that fight would have been much better because I would have been able to get more damage off essentially without dying. But I kind of got bursted. I think I got hit by the Vigar. I didn't get hit by the Vigar ult actually. It was just too much burst in general. Okay, fair enough. Should still be fine. I had a really good turnaround play there. I don't actually know if they can end the game here because of the respawn timers. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. I have Void Staff now. My build's completed. They're actually not even hitting the, in the Nexus either. Ah, uh, they are winning. Okay, fine. I mean, my job has been fulfilled, right? Enough ganks, enough ult plays. We're good. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure the like button below helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 28k damage, which is the highest in the game. It's very, very nice. Uh, true damage to champions at 1k, not too much, but I did a decent amount. Damage to objectives at 21k. Uh, our objectives weren't the best, I suppose, but it is what it is. Healing down at 17.2k. Damage taken at probably the most of my team, yeah, at 30k here as well. I could have avoided some of this, especially like that last team fight if I could like Zonias. There was some Zonias opportunities that I've missed out on. Which definitely upped my damage a little bit, but with the new increased healing on Drain, um, I was able to tank quite a bit more in those fights generally. Self-mitigated damage at 15k, gold earned at 15.2k. I mean, yeah, we have bike assassination things, so yeah. Predator at 600 damage, but of course, like the movement speed gank potential that I got out of it was worth was worth way more. Gave me quite a bit, quite a few free ganks out of this one. Extra 800 damage from Sudden Impact. Ultimate Hunter is just for, like, the uh, cooldown refreshes, of course. And, uh, well, yeah, that's it for Fiddlesticks.